I am a very sad, lonely, and angry individual. And there is very little in this life that honestly brings me joy, if I'll be completely honest. I go to work a lot, at least when I can. And even whilst I am there, I am oftentimes greeted with individuals who are no better than I am. The only difference is most of the time they are young and do not possess the wisdom, nor the guidance, nor the people, nor the fathers and mothers, to help them deal with that pain, to deal with it. I come home and I have to watch my dog die each and every day. I have to clean up, you know, his poop and his pee and his bile because he can't control his bladder anymore. I have to watch him bleed from scabs on his body. There is nothing that truly makes me happy. I feel nothing that brings me a great degree of joy don't have very many books to read. I cannot escape into video games because I play multiplayer online video games. I can't play League of Legends and enjoy a match there because I'm always around these bumbling buffoons who can't tell their goddamn left from the right. We're probably dealing with shitty lives too. It's just a toxic cycle of angry people getting paired up together, spending more time fighting their teammates than fighting the bloody enemy team. There's no joy to be had in that. Overwatch isn't any better. The only difference with Overwatch is, is people don't type out their toxicity, they just say it. There's no better. So even in the video games I have, I can find no joy, no peace to escape. I don't make as much money as I want to, fortunately. Gotta spend a lot of that on just living being, giving it to family members, you know, and I'm just angry. I'm angry at the world, can't watch the news, just awful shit there, angry at the way men treat each other, women treat each other, angry at the way women treat men and men treat women, and I'm lonely. Got into a car accident, so I got no car, fortunately, and the dumbest accident one possibly could have had, at least in my opinion. So I'm trapped at home. If I'm not at home, I'm at work, and I'm home by myself. It's quite a lonely existence that it is. I wish I had more friends, but... All of my friends, they all have girlfriends, which basically means I don't have any friends. <laughs> if you've ever been single and, and had a male friend with a girlfriend, then you get that joke. Shit, it's not even a fucking joke. It's, it's just kind of the truth. I mean, once if you're single and your buddy is in a relationship, that's it. Because <laughs> his time gets allocated towards her. So I have friends, you know, I guess, but I mean... They've got no time for me, so it's as if I do not have friends. Can't meet new people. Any new people I do have to meet, I'd have to meet on the internet. And oftentimes, anyone who's trying to find people to talk to on the internet, well, you know, they're not the most sound-minded of people, let's be real about that. I've got no girl, no woman, no female to love me. I mean, outside of my mom and my niece. She's a baby. That's kind of what they do. You know, no one to really talk to and be there for me when I am angry, when I am sad, when I am lonely. And I got to see young men deal with the same thing 
every day. Young women dealing with it as well. You know. And I'm just angry. I'm just angry all the time. I'm sad all the time. And I'm lonely. But through all of that misery, through all of that pain that I feel each and every day, I wake up and I do what I can every day to make my situation better. Because I have to. Because there is no one that will do it for me. There is no one that will help me. I am the only one who can do it and I have to do it. There's no one else. It's just me. What gives me the strength, what gives me the ability to push forward and not let this anger and this sadness take over my existence, even though I feel it, is hope. Hope that the next day will be a better day. Hope that I can become a great man and a great father to the children that I might have, and I might not have any. And that's a sad, miserable thought I've had too. But I have hope that if I can have that opportunity, that I will be a strong man for them, a strong man for my niece, because she needs a strong man too, a strong man for those young men who don't have fathers, a strong man for the women who need a positive male role model in their life. That is what gives me the strength to continue, to know that I am not as alone as I believe I am. And that no matter what, someone, somebody has to be strong. Someone has to have the strength to push through. Someone has to fight these demons and become a better man. And that is why I will not give in to the despair that I feel, to the anger that I feel and I will use it and I will channel it into becoming the best man that I can be for my children, for your children, for other people's children, for my niece, for Travis, the young man that I met long ago, for Haley, the young lady that I met long ago. I will not be weak because I cannot be because someone in this miserable, cynical, fucked up world, someone has to be strong. And I am not a great man. I am not a rich man. I'm not even a smart man. I am not the best man. But I'm someone who is tired, tired of seeing the world in this miserable state. And I will not add to that. And that is why, even though I am angry and I am sad and I am lonely, I will not Give in to that pain because someone has to. Someone has to be strong and someone has to be able to face down these demons and give other people the strength to do it as well. And since no one will do it for me, I will be that man. And the truth of the matter is, yeah, you know, I'm just some guy that watches way too much fucking anime and does shitty accents on the internet. But someone's got to do it. And I'll let that person be you. I'll let that person be you. Let's let that person be us. That's all I got to say.